Hi, this is lesson 5.6, enthymemes and categorical syllogisms. An enthymeme is an argument in which either a premise or a conclusion is missing, but is implicit within the statements made. Here's an example. Uh, and this is located right in your lessons page, right, right below the video. The Constitution bans any law that is so vague that men of common intelligence must necessarily guess as its meaning. Sexual harassment laws, however, are so vague that no one knows what they mean. Now, in order to evaluate this, uh, we're going to need to add the missing premise or the missing conclusion. So there's basically three steps for approaching an enthymeme. The first is just to supply the missing premise or conclusion. The second is then to re-express the argument in standard syllogistic form. And then finally, apply the test for validity. Whether that be the five rules, looking at whether or not the figure in the move fall under the table of unconditionally or conditionally valid arguments, or applying Venn diagrams. In this lesson below here, the video, I've given you uh, I think a Venn diagram. So, but essentially, the but before, so we have to start with step one and ask, what's missing in the argument? In this case, what we need to do is we need to consider, well, what is the point of the statement being made, right? Let me repeat the argument again to you. The Constitution bans any law that's so vague that men of common intelligence must necessarily guess as its meaning. Sexual harassment laws are so vague that no one knows what they mean. It seems to be that the conclusion this person's arguing is actually that sexual harassment laws are banned by the Constitution. So what we could do here is we could simply first apply the missing premise or, con or conclusion. In this case, it's a conclusion, uh, which is something like to the case that er therefore all sexual harassment laws are laws that are banned by the Constitution. And then we'd re-express the ar argument in standard form, which means we've actually got to take the first lines of that argument and put them into categorical statements, such that we get the we get this argument: all laws that are so vague that men of intelligence must guess at their meaning are laws that are banned by the Constitution. All sexual harassment laws are laws that are so vague that men must guess at their um, meaning. Therefore, all sexual harassment laws are laws banned by the Constitution. Now. This is now in standard form, and it's of the form of an AA1. And as you, if you look at the test for validity, or if you look on the table, it is in fact valid. It also passes the five rules for determining validity. Um, now, this may be a valid argument, but it's clearly a bad argument. Why? Because it's not sound. Because I'm sure, I'm certain, that there are in fact sexual harassment laws that are not vague. So in this case, I'm not certain that they're their statements are actually true. So, I think it's a valid argument, but it's probably not a sound argument. So there's our distinction between soundness and validity taken up here. Now, enthymemes, really the best thing you've got to do here is learn these three stages. You have to supply the missing premise, put in, put in standard form, and then test for validity. You've got to really just practice doing it. So, um, take a look, read this lesson, and then go read the chapter and then do your homework lessons and take the lesson review. And after a while, I think you'll find that it's pretty, it's pretty easy, and it's not too difficult. At the core of it is always the question of understanding what the point of the passage is. In some cases, there may actually be some discrepancy of interpretation in which it's possible to have two different arguments come out of it. And that may be because ordinary language statements and arguments are often um, fairly vague. Um, okay, so take a look at that and then um, keep going. Okay.